Hello everyone, welcome back to the last week of Vlogmas. I just woke up, made myself a cup of coffee. It's Monday by the way. I need to film a reel, I need to do a grocery, I need to wrap all my Christmas presents because Christmas is in five days, like I don't know how that happened. It just really snuck up on me. I also need to answer some emails and water the plants in this apartment because I'm taking care of her plants when she's gone. So that is like a priority of mine. I don't have much planned this week. It is a very slow week and COVID regulations have changed again, meaning that my job is a little bit more like relaxed. Um, so I have one shift this week. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, also this week my friend, my best friend is gonna come over, see my new place, we're gonna hang out, I'm really excited. And then Friday is Christmas Eve, so I'm gonna head on over to my parents. But anyways, I'm gonna just drink my coffee and then I'll get started with the day. It is a lot later. I feel like the day escaped for me. Um, I was working on some content that I needed to, sh to shoot this morning and it took me until like three o'clock p.m. <laughs> Um, because I'm a perfectionist um, so once I was done that I just really needed to get out and so I went for a walk in Laurier Park which I've never been to before but it was really nice it was super super cold though I think it was like minus like six or seven degrees um, and then I just put in a load of laundry so I'm gonna go pick that up soon but I think what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna wrap my Christmas gifts because I've not done that yet and I'm probably gonna drink a glass of wine as well and yeah, that is my plan for the rest of the night. Probably gonna watch some stuff too. laundry done and this is the wine that i'm gonna drink i had some yesterday too um it is organic rosso wine sorry about the bad lighting but basically the wine store here in montreal is um on strike and so this is like a grocery store wine <laughs> because apparently there's nothing else on the shelves um my dad this morning drove to ontario which is the province beside quebec um just so he could get alcohol for christmas but I don't know, I had some last night, it's really it's not that bad and it's organic and I find that organic wine like I feel much better the next day, I don't get as like hungover or well not that I drink enough to be hungover but I don't get like a headache or anything a bit harsh but then, but then it's okay and this is the pile of Christmas gifts that I have to wrap got one roll of wrapping paper which i usually don't do but i didn't order too many online purchases so i don't know if i have any like brown paper but if i did i would just use that but this is brown paper anyways i think it's like recycled so i just thought it was cute <music> not wash my hair in a couple of days but i'm about to do a workout i'm going to be doing a 10 minute resistance and booty workout so i have these got them last christmas i really like them for toning my bum <laughs> and my thighs um so i'm gonna do that and then i'm probably just gonna do some yoga i have not been doing too much like intense exercise lately just because my job is really like physical and i feel like i get enough cardio and so many steps from doing that job so whenever i do work out like on the days that i'm not working i really try and like just focus on toning and like yoga and meditation and stuff like that it's also a really beautiful day so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna walk to the grocery store so i also want to clean my apartment first i'm gonna do a little workout
I just heated up some soup for lunch. This is the minestrone soup I made last week and then I made some more the other night as well. Just because I'm going to my parents in a couple of days and like I think I can make it until then without like cooking a full other meal. So here it is and I'm about to watch Michelle Reed's Week in My Life video. I really, really like her vlogs. So if you guys haven't checked them out, you definitely should. It's about two o'clock. Um, it is so nice outside, so I decided I'm gonna go to the grocery store now. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Look how beautiful and sunny. It's freaking cold, but it's gonna be a really nice walk. I'm gonna try and stay in the sun, get some vitamin D. Here is my outfit. I just got back from the grocery store. Thought I'd do a little haul. Um, it's mostly just like snacky things because my friend's coming over tomorrow. So I got some eggs. I got some tea, it's just lemon ginger tea. I really like yogi tea. I find that it's very like flavorful and the flavor um, is, is just very like potent. I also got two of my favorite milks. This is the unsweetened soya. Um, it's usually two for four, so whenever I'm on my last one, I usually just pick up two more. I got another bottle of wine because I've just been loving like a glass of wine at night with my dinner. I know. Um, it's the same one that I drank yesterday. It's the Boo. I just like the fact that it's organic and it's on sale. <laughs> then I got some yogurt. Usually like I don't buy yogurt with sugar in it, but I find that if I don't buy a flavored yogurt, I literally don't eat it and it sits in the fridge i've noticed that even if i have granola and like berries i just don't eat it as much so i got these um this one is the peach one i've had this one before i really liked it it was like two for five i think um and then i also got a strawberry and these are gonna last until like mid january so i think that they're really good to take to work i don't like the plastic but at the same time they're just really good when i'm really busy i got some butter because it was on sale and if you guys live in canada you know the sale of the price of butter has gone up so much so this was five dollars on sale <laughs> crazy a cucumber i was thinking of doing like a veggie cheese and cracker plate for tomorrow some baby carrots some tzatziki i love tzatziki it's my favorite dip and then these crackers were on sale i've really been craving like crackers or chips or something something with like a good crunch so i found these ones these are chia and quinoa and these ones are just sea salt so i'm gonna put all this away and then i really have to start cleaning i feel like this is kind of like a repeat of my last vlog but um yeah i'm just realizing when you live on your own there's just a lot of stuff like that that you have to do <laughs> good morning <laughs> um it is almost 11 o'clock my friend Livy is coming over today and i'm really excited because i've not seen her since i think it's been like a month now i just showered um and i'm just about to get ready now so i thought i would do it with you guys i'm gonna be using the bare minerals a little update on this i had mentioned in my last vlog that it wasn't applying very well but i washed my makeup brush and I really like it, and I think I even like it better than the cover effects. And I've been using the cover effects for years. So I go for the color Golden Ivory, but I think that the one that was right for me was Golden Neutral, but they didn't have any. But because this is so light and like very buildable, this color works as well. Um, so I kind of just swirl it, tap, and then I just kind of push it into my skin. It's like a little bit light, but it's not like no one has said anything so whatever i'm not too sure what our plan is um it's pretty gloomy out but we're gonna go walk around my neighborhood which will be fun um i also just really feel like going out for a coffee i've not done that in a really long time so I'm gonna see if she wants to do that i'm not sure if she's done her christmas shopping i'm done my christmas shopping but this is the mascara i'm using the one that i don't like but i'm just finishing it up and i feel like it's never ending so have my jewelry which i'm gonna put on this is from anna louisa last night i did some journaling because it was the winter solstice it was like the longest sorry the shortest day of the year it was really nice i haven't like done a full-on journal in a really long time so part of the winter solstice journaling like prompt that i was doing was to also set your new year's resolutions and like i know not everyone is into that um and they say oh you should do like your goals every couple of months but i really enjoy it um, because it's like a fresh year, a fresh start. Um, <clears throat> and something I focused on this year when writing my New Year's resolutions was to go like just a little bit deeper because I find that some of my New Year's resolutions can be like read 10 books or like exercise five times a week. And for me, that's just like really not realistic. 
Um, so I just tried to go deeper. So maybe I'll share some of those with you guys. Okay, so this is my like journal that I write in. I used it so much when I got to Montreal because I was like journaling like every day. Um, but I guess I'll go through my New Year's resolutions or at least parts of them because some of them are like quite personal and I don't feel like I want to share everything. But the first one, oh yeah, and before I start, a lot of these goals aren't specific. Like I know that they say that your goals should be very, very specific, but in my case, like they're not and I'm okay with that. I feel like they're more of like an outlook that I want to have on the next year rather than a goal, if that makes sense. So the first one is to step, step outside of my comfort zone, do things I've always wanted to do, but haven't. For example, some of the things that I've always wanted to do, but I haven't is like a ceramics course. I've always wanted to like take some kind of like really creative course, like ceramics, I even put painting here. Um, I also want to get back into photography. If you didn't know, I did photography in um, Sejap, which is like in between high school and university here in Montreal. So I did darkroom and digital photography and I absolutely loved it. And I feel like that's how like all of this started too, was like filming and um, taking photographs. Like I just really like the more artsy side and I feel like I have not connected to that in a really long time. It's been more like, I don't know, I don't wanna say superficial, but like my outfits and um, which I really love to do, but um, I also want to get more into like the deeper creative side of me. So next is be okay with being alone. I feel like I love to be alone, like I really do, but then it does get to a point where I feel lonely and like, I don't know, like, I just feel like I need someone all the time, um, but I want to learn to just like be okay with being alone and like also accept it. And like, I know deep down this is, this is what I want right now. Like I do want to be alone. So um, just kind of like, get over that hurdle of like feeling like I need someone. I always want to like do errands with like other people or I feel like there's some things I like can't do by myself. Like I can never picture myself going to a restaurant by myself and like having a drink or something. Um, but that's something I want to be like comfortable with. Like I want to be able to do that and like just be like a little bit stronger in like who I am and um, my confidence levels, I guess. And the third outlook is like, is. Don't give into things so easily. You're worth it. Don't sell yourself short. Um, and I feel like this, I mostly wrote this down because of a few collaborations that I've had. Like, I think I charge brands like very fairly, but every time I have shared my rates, they have always been like way too high. So I don't want to sell myself short anymore. I don't want to give in to a lower price um, because I know that I put so much work into this and I've worked for free for like three years. Um, and now it's just like collaborations are starting to come up where I'm getting paid. And um, I just feel like I need to like put my foot down and be like, no, that's not okay. But it is really easy to accept the other offer because like at the end of the day, when I think about what they're offering me, I'm like, oh wow, like that can actually cover my phone bill or that can cover um, my groceries next week or you know something like that so that is the way I've always been like twisting it and thinking of it but I know deep down that like it's not okay that I'm like not negotiating enough so I guess like also working on my negotiation skills this is interesting I don't know like why I wrote this down I never really thought about it before but um, it's to sit in silence more slash read go on the computer less be okay with my thoughts and um, don't always try and distract myself. I find that I'm the type of person that always has to be doing something. Um, I don't just like sit in silence like with my thoughts very often, but I think that that is how you connect more with your intuition, um, with like how you're feeling. Um, and yeah, I feel like that's something that I need right now because sometimes I do have a hard time like connecting to how I'm feeling. Sometimes I've noticed that like if there's a feeling I know is there and I don't want to feel, I distract myself. So I'll go on my computer, I'll put on music, I'll put on podcast, um, I'll clean up, I'll do this, do that. Um, but I think what I really needed to do is just like sit in my thoughts and like accept and figure it out. So yeah, I guess just like connect with myself on like a more philosoph philosophical philosophical level. Oh yeah, and my last one is, I, I feel like I use the word don't a lot. Maybe I should like rephrase these, but it says, don't be in my mind so much, express yourself. Um, I am someone who is really in my head sometimes. And so I want to be able to like transfer my thoughts into 
like words. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Yeah, just to like not think as much or like don't take life so seriously because sometimes like little things will happen and I just like rethink it over and over and over again. And I know everyone does this, but I just want to be like, whatever, you know, <laughs> like, why are you, oh, why are you caught up on this like small thing that like won't matter tomorrow? Because like at the end of the day, that is what makes me like really stressed. It's like all of those little things in my head. So yeah, those are my New Year's resolutions. I feel like they're more like outlooks on 2022. 22 is my like number um so i'm hoping that next year's gonna be a good year let me know down below if you guys have any new year's resolutions goals or outlooks on the new year um i would love to know and if anyone wants to take a ceramics course with me <laughs> let me know as well um, oh actually no see this is what i'm saying like all the things i want to do i need someone else but no i want to do this by myself so um, never mind, you're not invited. <laughs> Anyways, Livy should be here in like five minutes. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you guys in a bit. It is Friday morning, it's Christmas Eve, so happy Christmas Eve. So I just woke up, had coffee, breakfast, and did some yoga, and I just got ready. My brother's gonna come pick me up, and we're gonna go to my parents for Christmas Eve and Christmas which is really exciting. Um, I feel like I've not done a really good job at vlogging this week, um, but to be honest, I just haven't been down. Like I just haven't been feeling it. And so I never force myself um, to do it if I don't want to, but I do need to end the vlog. So I thought I would pop on here. But yeah, this week I also did a, lot, a little bit of shopping, uh, mostly for Christmas, but also things that I needed for the apartment. So I thought I would show you guys quickly. So excuse my dirty kitchen. <laughs> I'm about to do the dishes before I leave, but I finally found a coffee filter. A nice ceramic one from simon's a lot of them on amazon and like online were like 40 dollars, and i was just really really shocked but this one was 12 dollars from simon's and simon's usually has some good like eco-friendly um options so i was very very happy to find that i also found some dish cloths at simon's this is my dirty dish cloths i know it's super weird to show you guys but i just thought it was so cute they're made from organic cotton they're part of simon's like more eco eco line um and i just love all of the polka dots and like the different colors really really cute so i have uh, two of these i also got this one as well um if you guys have been following me for a while i had a few of these in munich um they're really good you can just reuse them i don't like to use the disposable dishcloths and i don't know this one's really pretty and i thought it would kind of match the vintage vibe of the kitchen quite well i finally found a mat from the front for the front door this is only ten dollars and i believe it is made from like eco responsible like i don't know what this is but it is eco-friendly so really happy about that and i like that it's green um kind of adds a little bit of color <laughs> to my entryway that is it this is my new year's eve outfit my family and i are very very casual we don't dress up at all so i wear this once a year it's a cute pug on a Christmas sweater. Really, really like it. And I'm wearing my new in jeans. That is my outfit. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, I wanna wish you guys all a really Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and um, whatever you celebrate. And thank you for supporting my channel this year. I've definitely seen some growth. Um, it is a very slow progression, especially here on YouTube, but um, it is progressing. So uh, yeah, it means a lot to me. So thank you. For the new year, I think I'm gonna do like a poll on my Instagram just to see what you guys want to see more of. Um, I definitely have an idea of what you guys wanna see, but I feel like for the past couple months, I've just been a little bit, it's just been a little bit hectic with like moving, finding a job, moving into this place. Um, so I haven't been able to like give the best content that I'd hoped. You know, next year's a new year. So again, thank you so much for your support. Um, happy holidays and I will see you guys next year in my next video. Bye.